Hello and welcome back to HRD Live where I'm joined by Linda Mountford. Linda, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Wonderful. I'm getting there. Good, <laughs> I'm all good. Right. Nearly the now, end of the day. This is it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Is it? So I have no <laughs> idea. So, Linda, your session is tomorrow, day two of the summit. Correct. What are you going to be sharing with the audiences in the session? So, I'm going to be talking about internal learning programmes and how you can really leverage those programmes to transform organisational culture. Okay. So I'll be talking about the experience that we've had really, the journey we've been on in John West and how we've leveraged our John West Academy to really build and embed a, a culture of customer excellence. Wow, okay. Internal learning, I've, I've had a few chats here today about how much of a challenge that is to try and make it part of the enjoy your day to day and of work, mm. right? And to kind of just build it in as opposed to being okay, like we need to deal with this learning stuff now. What was your journey like then in terms of making that valuable and connecting that with your employees? Experience? I think I think for us what was important is this was a training program for our crew. Right, right. But really built and designed by the crew. So it was very wow. much about empowering our people. So giving them the, the space, the resources to develop a program, obviously supported by the HR yeah. team. Um, but I think then, you know, they were motivated, engaged, and I think as well in terms of then the wider crew participation, mm. it really it really supported and generated buy-in. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. And what sort of things were you hearing from mm. employees then when you were saying, okay, tell us how you want to learn in, in terms of that training. What, what kind of stuff were you, were you getting back? Were you surprised or were you, did you think, oh no, this is, this is fantastic, this is perfect? Because it had to have been a difficult journey, right? Yeah, I, I don't think we were, we were surprised um, because what we wanted to do was keep linking it back to this whole customer experience. Mm. So whether that's your internal customer or your external customer. So right. They very much wanted to help their fellow crew become brand ambassadors. Oh, so it was really helping people sort of develop their knowledge of the organisation and also to, to build capability. So hmm. they could talk with confidence about Thai Union, about John West, about retail, about sustainability, hmm. about sort of, you know, our brand strategy. So, wow. um, yeah, no, no, no challenges. I think we were just you know so impressed with with what we were getting back you know yeah. sort of the level of engagement people absolutely you know wanted to deliver this and make it successful wow. that's fantastic I, it seems like such a challenge but obviously say you, there is a way to make it work that well for, for the HR leaders and business leaders watching this at home now who maybe you're experiencing a similar challenge or have a similar desire to transform learning in that way internally. Yeah. What would be your, your top tip maybe to them? Or maybe how should they start thinking about it to, to get things off the ground? I think think about your organisational culture first. Think right. about what are the over, overarching objectives of the internal training programme that you're trying to deliver. Mm. I think although this is very much you know a programme that was for our crew, built by the crew, we also leverage some external expertise as well, so right. don't be afraid you know, to ask for help, to calibrate, to benchmark externally, because I think then you can deliver a programme that not only hits the mark, but is really inspiring for everyone as well. Fantastic. Linda, yeah. I can't wait for the session tomorrow. I think it's going to be great. I hope you can join, but oh, I imagine my... you'll probably be Absolutely. interviewing. But if no, you I'm can, I'd love to see you. break free for a moment here to come and see you. But thank you so okay, much for joining no, us on HRD Live. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for more interviews very soon. Thank you.